Welcome to episode four of this Let's Play series. We are playing Airships, uh, what is it? Conquer the Skies. Airships, Con Airships Conquer the Skies. That's the name of the game. Uh, and we've just taken over in the last episode. This is us over through here, starting as Dastopia. We took Ost Osthoth and then Nosp then actually ended up taking Womberton, which is another, another uh, airship or shipyard, which is high income essentially. And then they also took over the dragons here at uh, Sukrasek. And so took that shipyard as well. So there was a point where we were at two, they were at three. And it can be dangerous if the AI starts to rocket ahead of you in terms of their production capabilities. And that was certainly the case. They've got a lot of small little villages down through here, which will give them still a lot more capabilities to, um, to, for growth. And so we need to get on top of that. Uh, we're researching at the moment, we are researching reinforced hulls. Once we get that, we can then sort of change everything across, put them on board. I may rebuild the bomber soon, I think. But uh, what we're doing is we've been ca playing cat and mouse with this little force that's left over from uh, Nosh. And so they're still active. They will still have the income to be able to contend with that. But I th I've got this forcing down through here is actually made up of three different starships or uh, airships. I always call them starships. Uh, this one here needs to be repaired, not for very much. It's just lost one of its uh, gr uh, grenades at the front. Everything else is actually okay. So let's just go and repair that one. Just give it the order. It'll only take a few few minutes for that to actually happen. By the way, we, we're playing with the crown symbol, which means that as soon as we take a location, it immediately comes up to our side. So that's sort of like the benefit. You've got all sorts of different... Uh, bonuses you can actually have depending on what you actually do pick. Now, what have they got? I don't, I'm not sure what their symbol is. That's you can't tell what symbol that is. So I don't know what benefit they actually have with uh, with their particular play. But they certainly were leading the game, and we've had to sort of very quickly switch. I was going to try to take over this area, but in the end we've had to switch down just to try to sort of uh, move across the waters to go after them just to, to stop their stop their expansion. You can see they've still got all these little little villages all over the place. We need to get them off them. So what I'm going to do is when I get this golem repaired, I've also then got another ship, the Erebus, which is coming. I've got two different designs, by the way, if we have a bit of a look at these ships that are left in through here. The Enforcer is mainly a cannon ship with rifles, and then the uh, Grenadier is mainly a... Uh, uh, like, like basically a bombing ship. So this is not doesn't really have any combat capabilities, and it's also very susceptible for these suspendium tanks to be to be blown out of the sky. This one's using a different sort of propulsion back and through here, with the uh, with these suspendium chambers. So it's a, it's much much stronger. And once we get this, we can then sort of upgrade all sorts of different things. So what I want to do here is I want to split these guys up, and I'm thinking. They're not going to be able to reach me before I get to Kleinberg. That's one week and one day from there. If I just unselect the Enforcer and then go and invade... Actually, if I go back into Womberton and have a quick look at the defences... Yeah, we've still got a lot of... Uh, like, these guys are all still in their attack in their attack mode. Let's just move them out of the way. And uh, that's still being rebuilt at this point in time. And so these quite expensive repairs. I'll, I'll do it, though. So we're probably going to have yeah just enough left over. Just move them forward a little bit. Move them back. Yep, that'll do. All right, so we'll leave that one there. Um, so that will that will eventually be sort of um, built back up again. Now, in the meantime, we do have to mask with what this one can do and not let it come back up into here. So I'm going to leave the enforcer behind. But I'm going to send off the Grenadier to invade this. Now, they, they're not going to go anywhere. That's going to be fine. The, gren the other Grenadier has now come back in. If I get, now go and grab that Grenadier and send it off as well. Let's, let's invade Hatwick as an example. We can then start to take their, their income from them. So we'll just go back into here. Again, it's a very, very simple, this particular one. We'll just move this one down. And um, TM and just straight across the top with the bomber. It shouldn't really be able to do too much damage to us. Now there's a lot of, a lot of them on the other side. I, just want to, I think as soon as we start to take any sort of damage at all, we can see these will be rifles, so they'll go all the way over the top. Let's just move this one around. Um, there's only got three rifles on this side. 
the rifles will be able to fire back way back up into here. So if I move and flip, um, unfortunately, what's going to happen is they're still going to be able to shoot at me. I'll just I'll just do it to here. See if there's more firing up from here. So this, this is good. And we wiped out a lot of the rifles from this side actually. The one There we go. Alright. So we survived that one. Okay. And um, that's a victory for us. Now this one has to go back for repairs. Let's just go back to Womberton. That one's heading off up there. And we'll just go back to the ships and repair. So we can sort of starve them out by doing this. Now they've just built themselves another ship back over here. Now we have the Enforcer now ready to go back over this way. I think I'll keep the Enforcer over this side until we're ready to go a little bit further. Um, I could build yet another Enforcer. I think I might redesign the um, the Grenadier. So uh, we'll still make it nice and tall just so that they can sort of com be fairly compact as they go in. Uh, I don't need to change too much with the design, to be honest, other than just get rid of the tanks on top. The tanks are its only real weakness at this point in time. Actually, we'll wait for the um, reinforced hulls. So we'll just let things sort of develop. So we'll go this way. All right, we need to get under there. It's sim similar sort of deal in through here. We'll just move this one down. So um, uh, TM and just get those over the top. And then through. in there. We're aiming at the tanks, of course. nice and fast. Um, now we just need to go and send this one back for um, for repairs and Hatwick itself, if we have a quick look at its defences, just repair that one and then just move it across. Actually there's only a small one. Yep, that'll, that'll do. Alright, so we'll leave that one there. And um, we keep on going forward, so we'll wait for that one to come back down. I'm not sure what they're building, but uh, if we just go, eventually they're going to start. They're going to, not going to be able to pay pay the the costs of of their units. And I'm sort of half thinking if I brought this one forward, it would be interesting to sort of just see what they can do. I don't want to. I've sort of. I want to keep some protections back over this side of the map, just against their actual forces back through that way. So we've got um, the Enforcer is the only one that's left in here at the moment. We're just still building everything else up and they're going to be doing the repairs. Now they're going after Noshp. If we move this one down and move, we can get there before it. The ours moves faster than theirs. And it may be a bit desperate. It's gone down this way. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll still keep that one masked off, and then we'll just go and repair this one. So that's being repaired. We've still got the another enforcer back up this way, and we've almost got enough for another of the... Well, actually, we'll wait until we get these hulls, and then we'll just redesign. Okay, so we now have the heavy wooden armor. Let's select that research, and what we'll get next, I think, will be... I wouldn't mind some, some marines, just so that we can actually do some attacks... And sort of, you know, fight, like take over forces essentially without destroying too much. But um, I also do like telescopes to get the the extra uh, accuracy. Let's just go that way. Leave that one and um, 
We'll then go across to, uh, we'll, we'll do the design in here at Dastopia. So we'll just go back to Design Ship. We're going to open the existing Grenadier Mark II, which is our latest Grenadier. We're going to open this one up and we'll call it a different sort of class, I think. So there's a lot in here that we just want to get rid of. So I'm just going to marquee, select all of that, delete. That's all gone. We'll get rid of all of this as well. I want to keep pretty much the same width as what we actually have. The bottom of this works out quite nicely. So we've got the large sails. We've got it. We've got everything we need in here. All we need to do is just get suspendium cha uh, chambers up above. So we'll do that now. We'll just go back into lift. There won't be too much to do with this. So we've got a um, a group that can be placed there. I'll just keep it so that we've got the. Um, the other chambers coming back up the top and then we're going to need to have uh, the coal as well so if we just go back into resources a coal store so we'll get that one and then we'll just get um, now that's fine the crew and the recommended crew are, are, are fine so we'll just go back to um, structural and just get a corridor with ladders there we go. And that's actually now that's a fully functional design with without the, uh, the without the tanks above it. So let's go and uh, just round this one out. So um, just go back across to uh, solid shapes. Now we've got a service ceiling there of 149. When I put the new armor on, that's going to then change. This is actually this could still be a grenadier. It could be a grenadier Mark III. Actually, I think I'll call it something different. <laughs> I'll call it a bomber bomber or something like that. Just uh, a bomber deer. There we go. So it's based on the uh, on the other one, but it's uh, a completely different sort of lift system. And I just want to really sort of end up getting uh, like a, a a curvature around around everything that we sort of see in through here. So we'll just go across and where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, solid shapes. So we've got, got like filler blocks, for example, where I could sort of put more more things across. Do a um, We've got rounded corners. Now there are variations of some of these, like the slopes, for example, will have, uh, it's like smaller. So slope two times the half at the top, um, which we don't really need, but um, that's a three by one across the top here. I prefer to keep it all the way up to the top there. Let's just do that. And um, if I do it, this other way. No, it's it's going to end up back in there. That's not going to work. I'll, I'll keep that where that is, just with uh, filler blocks. Then we'll just try to uh, sort of find a way to marry this up. We don't need the, the um, anything on top there, so we'll just sort of leave that one up there, up where that is. Uh, go the round corner through here and just flip it, X. And then just another of the um, so still got 144 is the is the actual is the height 143 now with that extra little block that's in there um, I might move that one down into there delete that one just bring that one down still 143 everything's looking pretty good it's still pretty cheap really for what it for what it is and it's fairly narrow, which means I can have multiple of them working together to bombard different, different uh, locations. And the height is reasonable as well. So that's looking good. We'll just now go back to armor and um, we're gonna replace this armor with reinforced wooden armor. So the difference between the wooden armor where we have 50 hit points and four pierce damage, pierce is really all we're interested in at this stage. We then go to the reinforced where we have 75 hit points with 12 pierce damage. This is gonna make it almost impenetrable at this, uh, this stage of the game. So we'll just go fill and just sort of get those things filled in through there. Now I've forgotten what color I was using in through this side. If I just go back to the paint schemes, and um, we haven't had to change too much, but it, it has changed a little bit down here. I've got a funny feeling it was, um, oh, which one was it, Sendry? Yep, that was the one, I think. Does that look different? No, that's the same. Okay, we'll go that way and we'll paint the top as well. Maybe we paint the top with something a little bit different. 
so th- that's the um, that's going to be the, the actual thing itself. It's, it's you know again a very very strong ship. It's very slow but very very strong. It's only got a service ceiling now of eighty nine because of the weight of the armor. I love the um, just the interplay with everything the way this one actually does work. It's it's really quite good. Let's just save this design. This is the bombardier. Save. Done. And um, we're ready to go back out again. So we'll just leave here. This is going to be 1,500 to build one of these guys. We've got 1,100. So let's just wait. And then we'll start to build a few of these up. In fact, what we can do is we can go back into here, for example, and we can then go and refit this and tell it to uh, to refit to the new design. So if we open the, the new design for the Bombardier, it's going to cost me 855 to get one of these, and it's definitely worth it. So we'll just go and uh, refit. And so it's now going to be refitting back and through there. We'll wait till we get another batch of money, and then we'll we'll do this this the last one as well. Oh, on, sorry, I've got to unpause. So that's the golem, and then the other one is the grenadier, which we'll refit as well. And by the time that's done, we'll probably be ready to do the next refit. So we've now got very very modern ships all the way through. Oh, you've got an incoming fleet, Nosh to Hatwick. Uh, they are going way out through there. Now, I don't have anything. Actually, I can, I can move this one across. Click to intercept. Let's intercept this over, like it'll be over here somewhere, I would think, or maybe even over here. Let's intercept this fleet. Yeah, over here. There we go. So we've got our enforcer versus their one ship. Now, there's nothing much that they can really do to us, so I'm just going to go and sit back over here and just and just literally uh, pepper away at them. They're going to probably have to come down underneath this to even get, uh, like, to sort of close the gap, but it really won't matter. These little flying things are just, just background. <laughs> they don't really matter much. Uh, so we'll uh, just start. What I have to just be careful of is that they don't go outside of where my what my things can do. So I'm just going to sort of keep track of, of moving down. We'll be able to uh, start to pepper away at them. fairly soon. We'll start getting towards the back end of their, their stuff there, through there. Now I'm going to need to upgrade these, these as well to, to the better armor. I'm okay there. I can just keep on peppering away at their, their ship. Rifles will hardly be any different even against the old the old armor we have on this on this thing. Halfway 
through our own here. Let's go to the outside view, we can see what sort of damage they've done. They've done a little bit with their rifles. So they probably do need to upload this one. Okay, this can be this can work. Take that this guy. Just get them on the ground, I can then switch everything around. And they just can't fire. Keep it going. Chambers. Where they, can, they can't fire at us. Just keep on peppering away. Now we have taken some damage, lost a crewman. But some damage is doing very, very well. And we're really out of ammo. Take out the um, running through here. This is the this is the weak point of these. If you once you get rid of those, you're pretty much home and closed, and we've certainly done that. This is not important anymore. It's <laughs> that's actually lightened them enough. They'll be able to flip around. Yeah, there we go. They're out of there. <laughs> it's still afloat, but only just victory. So that was good. So we caught them, and we actually aren't even damaged, even though it looks like that. We're um, we're just going to move them back to um, to Nosp. Now there's not the only ship that they have now is up here. So we'll just go and, and throw that one back into there, and then we'll start to upgrade these as well. So we'll just go back down into Nosp, and we'll just go back to design ship. We'll open up the current uh, bomb uh, enforcer so we'll um, uh, open and we'll just go to armor and we're now just going to change this uh, this weak wooden armor to the reinforced wooden armor so we're just going to go over there and fill and that's all we need to do so that's now we've got a, a, a lower ceiling lower speed but a lot more um, power uh, so we'll just go and save as save design and this will be the enforcer mark II. leave that. Now actually when we get the telescopes I may even just go straight over the top of that one because it's not a massive change. Just get rid of the... the um... Now they're going off to attack other things which is fine because um, we don't need to worry about that. Now we've got the new design let's just go and uh, retrofit this one. Open the design the Enforcer Mark II and uh, open and refit. So that will then be done. It'll take a little bit of time for that to happen. And I could even do this one as well while we're here. It looks like we're pretty safe. So let's just go and uh, enforce, uh, like change this one up as well. Open design, enforcer mark two, and open and refit. And then that will be, that will then, so all of our ships will then be the, the new, the brand new design. Now this one is still the old one. The Golem has now come back out. This one here, we've only got 266, so it's not really gonna help us. Okay, well, let's just go down and start to invade these other areas. So we'll just go and grab the, the new, the, well, the, the refitted golem. So we'll uh, get rid of that one, open that one up and invade. And then we'll just keep on getting all of the income from down in here. And that's fine where we are. So we'll just go uh, TM. 
and they're going to struggle against this this craft. It's slow but very very powerful. Oh, it's actually it's just got great armor. <laughs> They're not firing, they must be muskets. These are seals susceptible to being uh, hit and blown out. They're just the, uh, the natural tanks. There we go, that was nice and quick. Now we should be replenished with our ammunition because we've got that little uh, crown symbol uh, so I can just keep on rolling forward with these as long as I don't take damage I'm pretty much okay um, that's, that's fully recovered so that one's now going to be worth a little bit more we'll invade this one next we'll just keep on coming through each time so we've got uh, 500 700 there we go that's going to be enough I think to do the upgrade open design the um, what was it? Bombardier. Open. Oh, still can't do, quite do it. Okay, need a little bit more. One more one more week's worth of, of income. Okay, and back into here. We should have full... Okay, this is one of these old designs. So that's going to be fine. So T, M, and then just straight over the top. And we've got all the ammo. Because of that crown, we sort of everything just gets replenished. It's, it's a really nice one, actually. Now, don't hit anything. It's okay. Sweeping on up. <laughs> and cause the havoc. Sitting out to say one of this, that the game really does need some kind of system. Just to be able to sort of keep track of what needs to be repaired. Like, you've got a, there's no indication that I would need to go back in and fix these things up, um, which is frustrating, to be honest. Let's invade this one now. These, this is not, this is getting replenished every time it takes over anything. 25 income is actually good, that's 25 as well. This is good. Okay, we've got two of them over here, but again, with um, unless they've got cannons, which they're not going to be able to. In fact, unless they've got uh, turrets that can fire upwards, we're going to be pretty good. So TM, let's just go this way. The golem, <laughs> just taking more and more territory from them now. And of course, each bit of income that they lose, the enemy, then um, it's, it's income that we then have ourselves. So it sort of works double. It stops them from building. Um, and it's just going to down a little bit. Ships there are a lot of fun, but I think we're going to sort of get through this one now. That's still taken no damage whatsoever. And we're pretty much out of time, guys, so I'm going to leave it here. And we'll just continue on rolling on through. They, they did take that one themselves, way back up there. Um, but everything is working very, very well for us. Uh, so we'll just go back across to here. We'll just do the refit, open the designs. This will be the Bombardier now. Open and refit. So that will start, it's refit, the enforcer is refitting. This is refitted. Yep, it's got the banding across it. So this is the, the brand new design. Um, it's really, I'm using this one to destroy enemy ships. Now they've been wiping each other out at the top there. So there's not a hell of a lot we have to do. I would like to get rid of this one, but I can sort of do that from there. They're now getting more income. So that's sort of slowly improving. 
Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll leave it here and we'll come back next in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you then.